Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, and this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite Wii U games. So I was a very late adopter of the Wii U system. In fact, I think I actually bought one after the Switch came out. I, I, I'm a collector. I definitely want to collect old systems. And I do have a soft spot for commercial failures of systems. You know, I, I love my TurboGrafx-16, my 3DO, my CDI, my Jaguar, my Jaguar, and my Lynx, and my Neo Geo Pocket Color, and stuff like that. But there was something that just kind of spoke to me about the Wii U and how it had that second screen and a lot of the games that, that were party style games that were for, for it just spoke to me. So, like I said, these are my favorite Wii U games. They're in no particular order and let's get on with it. So, first up is Affordable Space Adventures, released in 2015. I can't remember who released this one, but, and it is only available in digital, I'm hoping that this game gets resurrected in some way, shape, or form, because it is a great game. It is a bridge simulator that is a party-style arcade thing, and for those of you who've played this game, you get why I'm having such a hard time describing it, because even when you fail at trying to get through things and, and do stuff, you laugh at yourself. You know, you laugh and it's like, oh my gosh, I should have cut my engines a, a little bit sooner or something like that. And each of the different roles has things to do. So we've got one person working sensors or one person that's piloting and the other person who's the engineer managing all the power and stuff like that. But it also scales back to a single player experience as well which is how I beat the game but it's it's just wonderful and the way that the difficulty gets ramped back up in the end is just hilarious and and it's just it's so much fun and I'm really hoping that this game gets a re-release so on to the next is Bayonetta 2 for the or 1 and 2 for the Wii U and it was released by Platinum Games in 2014. It's Bayonetta. Everyone else has said stuff about Bayonetta. It's wonderful combat, beautiful combat, great music, lots of fun. The fact on the Wii U that you get to play 1 and 2, and yes, I know it's also out for the Switch as well, but I really like having physical media, so that's why I went with it on the Wii U. Uh, next up is Mario Kart 8 released by Nintendo in 2014. I love the Mario Kart series in 8. They just did a wonderful job. I will admit that I that I think they've done a better job of 8 Deluxe on the Switch, but 8 on the Wii U is really good. If it's cheap, pick it up. And all of the skills that you learn on the Wii U version do translate over to the Switch version. Next, another crossover game is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This game is wonderful. It has a lot of fond memories for me. Me and my wife actually play this game quite a bit just because you can maneuver things around and just check out how everything's going. It's just a great game. I'm not so sure I'm going to pick it up again on the Switch or not, but, you know, I'm, I'm definitely having fun with it. Next up is Hyrule Warriors, released 2014 by Nintendo. This is Dynasty Warriors with all of the, the Hyrule Zelda style characters all over it. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun with friends. I played it mainly with the Wii Pro controllers. One of my friends has it on Switch. And we've played together there as well. The only difference really between the games that I've spotted is the Switch version has all the DLC and the Wii U version does not. 
Next up is Nintendo Land, released 2012 by Nintendo. This is a family favorite. Whenever my, whenever the six-year-old is with us and we get to have fun, which you know, it's not that often, but she always loves. You know, when the little one comes in, she always wants to play this game. She always loves playing as the ghost and catching me and my wife with as the ghost while we're running around with the flashlights or any of the other multiplayer things. It's it's really is just a great and wonderful game for kids. And it's cheap. It's dirt cheap. Like you could I think you can pick this game up for two dollars. So definitely just you know if you if you're gonna have a Wii U, just go ahead and get this game. It's a lot of fun. Next we have the Wonderful 101. This game was released in 2013, again by Platinum Games, which they're one of the the companies that have done a really good job with the Wii U, and I'm hoping that they continue in this tradition on the Switch. They just do a wonderful job about it. The Wonderful 101 <laughs> is just a great game. You get to use the Wii U pad to draw things and and, and like make separate different weapons and collect people and solve the riddles and stuff that are going on. And it's great. It's just a good experience of a game. And another one that I can't suggest enough for the Wii U. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.